Today, I'm excited to talk to you about a new partnership between Alaska Army National Guard and the U.S. Coast Guard, along with our continuing relationship with the Air Force's Civil Air Patrol to deploy Marine Safety Task Force personnel to parts of Western Alaska and the Arctic in support of our third year of operations here in 2021. The spring of 2021 marks a milestone for the Marine Safety Task Force initiative. We spent the winter forming new partnerships, strengthening old ones, and making big plans for the 2021 summer surge season. This summer, for the very first time in MSTF history, the Alaska Army National Guard is flying Coast Guard members from Joint Base Elmendorf Richardson to hub communities such as King Salmon and Nome. From these hub communities, the Civil Air Patrol will continue to fly our inspectors to remote villages whose runways only allow for smaller airplanes. Sector Anchorage MSTF teams are the boots on the ground and the face of the Coast Guard in these regions. Now that the MSTF initiative is in its third year, Sector Anchorage has expanded its partnerships with Alaska Natives in communities and villages across the state who are actively working toward compliance in unprecedented ways. We seek to ensure the safety of lives in the maritime environment through gradually building relationships that encourage continued movement towards federal regulatory compliance. Coast Guard Sector Anchorage has regulatory oversight for 380 bulk oil waterfront facilities where fuel is delivered by barge in our area of responsibility and most of these facilities are in extremely remote locations. Coast Guard facility inspectors arriving in these communities must then depend on cooperation from locals for ground transportation. There are typically no paved roads and sometimes no roads at all leading to the facilities. All-terrain vehicles or snow machines are often necessary to gain access to the bulk fuel tank farms in order to complete the on-site physical inspection. Many fuel facilities throughout Alaska have varying degrees of deteriorated infrastructure. Our goal is to get eyes on these facilities in order to increase regulatory compliance, which in turn prevents oil discharges into the environment. We've had to think creatively for ways to complete annual on-site physical inspections of these facilities with a limited number of inspectors and travel funding. Given our expanded relationships that allow routine on-site physical inspections and exams in the maritime environment, the Marine Safety Task Force will continue to work with Alaska Native, tribal representatives, and citizens of Alaska to build a sustainable community resiliency that ensures our presence across Western Alaska and the Arctic is valued, welcomed, and encouraged.